a person's strengths are often their biggest weaknesses. And so that also means that their weaknesses can be their strengths. I am weak. In all those ways that I listed, I am weak. But I don't accept that. I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I'm doomed to be. No, I don't accept that. I'm fighting. I'm always fighting, I'm struggling, and I'm scrapping, and I'm kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them, to stop them. Some days I win. Some days I don't. But each and every day, I get back up, and I move forward with my fist clenched toward the battle, toward the struggle. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. At the end of pain is success. I fight with everything I've got to overcome those weaknesses and those shortfalls and those flaws. As I strive to be just a little bit better today than I was yesterday. You got the best two jobs in your life. You got your dream job, son. But this is only the beginning. This is not the end. This is not where I want you to be for the rest of your life. Pain is temporary. I've been trying to get that into your spirit. I've been trying to get you to celebrate pain. Are you hearing me? I'm trying to get you to have an understanding that pain is your friend. That pain is going to take you to the next level. It's not your circumstances or your situation that determines if you're going to be successful or not. I've been telling you it's your mindset. I'm telling you, you're going through pain. I know what you're feeling. I know exactly because I've been there. I've done that. But you got to work through it. work through your pain on the other side is a reward listen to me pain ain't permanent your pain ain't permanent you can get through this you bigger than your pain you better than that I use the pain to push me to greatness and I'm telling you right now don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. And if you can get through it, if you can work through your pain, if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you on the other side is a reward. I got to commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours. I want you to make yourself one single promise. Never go back on your own.
own promise to yourself ever again. And then you can go ahead and watch your life become what you actually want it to be. Because the very best of a human being is one that lives in alignment. Your thoughts, your words, and your actions all is one. Not one day saying one thing and then off the next day doing something else. And not thinking and wishing so badly that you could have something for then only to give up on yourself before you've even tried. Of course you have to hope that good things will happen to you when you cannot trust yourself. When you can't rely on your own capabilities and the fact that you will show up and do what you said you would, of course you're gonna rely on luck and chance. But if you build up your belief in yourself by keeping the promises that you make to you, your life will change instantly. I'm not talking about an agreement that you made with somebody else. I'm not talking about a contract you signed. And we don't need anybody expecting you to keep your word for somebody else until you have done it for you. Why should anyone else ever believe in you? Why should anyone else ever trust in you if you cannot trust yourself? See, the moment that you actually start doing the things that you said you would, the moment you start actually acting on your ideas is the moment your life changes forever. It's the moment where you have access to power that most people never experience in their lifetime. You gain the power to make anything that you want, anything that you dream of, become reality. Because when you follow up your thoughts, when you follow up a dream with real action, well then nothing can stop you, nothing can get in your way, nothing can really take you from your goal. And absolutely nobody can take away your goal from you other than yourself. It's when you don't follow through, it's when you don't do the things that you said you would do that other people start to disappear and fail too. We're talking about your dream here. We're talking about your passion. We're not expecting everybody else to show up and give us handouts. You give yourself a handout by following through with the actions that you said you needed to do, that you know you needed to do, that you know will take you to the next level. So stop treating your word like trash. Stop treating it like garbage, like something you can just throw around, saying one day that you're gonna improve your relationship, saying that you're gonna be better socially, saying that you're gonna make progress in your career or that you're gonna lose weight and get in shape, and then the next day not do anything about it and just give up on yourself. Or even if you went halfway there, it's the same damn thing. Go all the way, follow through with real work, real effort. Because you can keep daydreaming and escaping your dream. You can keep thinking that one day it will be real or you can actually step into it today. You can make a real decision, a real life decision, not a fantasy, a real choice to no longer daydream but to use your day to step into your dream. I earned my own trust to do this. No one else can approve of you except for you. You have to validate your dream. You have to validate your passion and you have to validate it with real work. And you have to follow it with real passion, with real drive, with real determination and no such thing as giving up. How about you stop looking for other people's guarantee? What's your guarantee to yourself? What's your guarantee about being successful? What's your guarantee about reaching the point where you want to be? How is anybody supposed to even take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously? Stop letting yourself down. Because there is absolutely nothing, nothing in the world that feels better than doing what you said you would do. The problem is, everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what real beasts do. Everybody gets excited. E.T., the guru story, but nobody wants to get up at 3 o'clock. 
Everybody's excited when I say, I wake up at 3 o'clock. Eric Zobie's 3 o'clock. Like for real, you walk out of here pumped up, fired up, you get some new information, you're ready. Everybody wants to be a beast until it's time to do what beasts do. And what you have to understand is, everybody that you're gonna hear from, Eric Thomas, my mother got pregnant with me at 17 years old, high school dropout, ate out of trash cans. Lived in abandoned buildings, slept in cars, multi-million company that's changing the world. I didn't say America, the world. Why? Because not only do I want to be a beast, if you follow my 24 hours, I do what beasts do. You can't, you can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's cute to say it. When the sun comes up, you've got all the books, you've got all the tapes, you've got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. A habit is essentially a decision that your brain made at some point and that you made. And then you stop making but continue acting upon. I'm sure you've heard that cheesy quote about life being a journey. Well, it's absolutely true. You're not racing anywhere. So slow down. Stop looking around at what everyone else is doing and focus on where you are and what's important to you. We know from neurological studies that every habit has three components. There's a cue, which is like a trigger for the behavior to start. And then there's the behavior itself. And then finally, a reward. And for years when people thought about habits, they focused on the behavior. But what we know from all these experiments is that it's the cue and the reward that are the secret to unlocking a habit, to understanding how it works, and more importantly, to changing it. How do you gain persistence and how do you start to have more good days than bad days? You're going to hate this advice, but it absolutely works. You must come up with a morning routine that you do every single morning or at least more mornings than not that puts you in control of yourself and in control of your day. We can choose. We can choose to create new habits. We can choose to extinguish old habits. Once you understand how they work, according to studies, you get to reshape these automatic behaviors. And then you gain this control over these parts of your life that otherwise just feel sort of just at the, just out of reach. First and foremost, wake up on time. When that alarm goes off, Get your butt out of bed. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Why is that important for persistence? The reason why is because the first decision that you're making of the day is to actually get up and get moving. That means you are persistently bigger than your excuses. You are persistently bigger than feeling lazy. And you are persistently beating the feelings that typically stop you. Whatever it is that your two priorities are, put them in your head, why? The reason why is because of persistence. You gotta start off your day by getting up on time figuring out your priorities, and then getting to work on them. Single biggest reason why people have bad days is because they start them off by looking around at everybody else and seeing what they're doing instead of having the focus and the discipline 
to actually start your day off with you in control. Get up on time, figure out your priorities, and exercise. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionably, you must have faith.